Hey lightweights, and welcome back to some more Assassin's Creed Mirage. They all need these. If it's an Assassin's Bureau, they all need a little spot to dive into. <laughs> Hidden one, if you have the time, there is a commodity on the streets you should know of. It is called Secret Spice, and rumor has it that the people are almost out to kill just for a sample. No one really knows its origin, but I have a feeling you will be able to find out. Perhaps the spice stall at the Great Bazaar can provide some answers. Basu, over here. <laughs> you seem shorter than I remembered, Basim. Yeah, yeah. And you still have not grown a single digit, Rebecca. No, we're not here as enemies. No, but we never held back on the training ground. Roshan tells me you are local here. In a manner of speaking, I lived here a time before I left for Anbar. Hmm. This place is no different from the places I'm used to. The rich wipe their shit with the clothes of the poor. That is the Karch I remember. It is your Karch no longer. Rebecca has uncovered a district tainted by corruption. Stronger than usual. Rumors of harassment from officials, and goods being controlled and seized. We think someone here has a hold over the district. Let me guess. The Order. A grand auction is happening. The Dairat al-Mal. An annual show of silk robes comparing their golden spoons. No surprise, but this event is invite only. There is a high chance one of our targets will attend. So, gain entry into the auction and find the one behind this. Mumtaz, you catch on quick. Finding it hard to keep up? There might be clues if we trace trouble to the root. I can show you where they are brewing. Join me outside when you're ready. So I think... And I'll confirm one way or the other when I actually get there, but I think this part coming up might be what I played in my hands-on preview event. Um, because I did something with an auction. Master. Are you ready, Basim? Karha waits. Is. Yes. Ready. Let us move. Follow me. Ever thought you would return here? To Karh? No. Much of my childhood was spent along these streets. Finding friendship with rats and roaches. Some memories are good. Most are bitter. Memories only serve to distract us. The Order has spread their influence into every crack in the city. Turning Baghdad into their farm. That will change. Responsibility lies heavy on our shoulders. The Order's blight falls over Karh. And we are the only ones who can cure it. How has Rebecca been adjusting to Karh? She does not like the politics, but she has to fulfill her duty. Karh is an acquired taste. Business is at each other's throats. The obsession over money. Huh. Perfume. People here are happy to be lost in their own paradise. A paradise that can only be afforded by the wealthy. And often corrupted. Come. We're nearly there. Welcome back to Kar. <sighs> Spice still clings to the air. What was it like, the first time you took a life? I barely recall. It was a man I used to know well. Before all of this. Before the Hidden Ones. You do not remember? My memories are buried next to him. I refuse to let his death hunt me. The way his breath hunted me when he was alive. I won't let the past define me. This is why I now consider myself the daughter of no one. If we do not quell the storm within us while awake, 
it takes us in our dreams. Like with you and your Ginny. Now, the souk, like Rebecca said, some guards came through recently, oh. breaking bottles, smashing crates. What caused this aggression? Let's find out. I've also heard they're seizing foreign goods, mostly from the East Road. The East Road? I believe I know someone who can help. It has been an age. Hopefully he is still around. I would be happy to see him again. Do not let nostalgia cloud reality, Basim. I will not. I know nothing stays the same. It has been some time. I wonder what has changed around here. Maybe I could first pay an old friend a visit. So this is definitely the, um section of the story that I played in the preview event. I don't know if I'm jumping into that right away or not. Excuse me, I just got very tired. Um, but this bazaar, I did stuff here, so. Lies. You re okay. Yep. What fresh brew do you have for me today, Kong? No brew until Luca returns my crate. If you have come to buy tea, I have many recommendations. <laughs> Kong, it is me, Basim. Huh, Nisaseya? Who? Basim. I am not an idiot. Everyone claims to be someone I know. Answer me this. What tea did my Basim like? Ginger with some turmeric. Wrong! Basim does not like tea. Hmm. <laughs> wow, Basim, little Finch, look at you all dressed up. Come, come, follow me to my stall, away from this terrible man. <sighs> so, little Finch, what have you been up to, huh? So many years. Just here and there. I had to leave Baghdad for a while. Ah, youth. What about yourself, Kong? What have you been doing these years? <laughs> doing what I do best, making coin. Although with some difficulty of late. The guards are on high alert. And that Greek merchant has taken it in his stride to report me at every chance. I know it in my ripe old bones that he waits for me to die of starvation. Or worse, go out of business. <laughs> ah, but here you are, little Finch. Remember the dazzling door we used to be? How about helping a friend out for old times? Ah, just like old times. But I need to speak with you after this. There is something I need as well. Of course! After you fetch my confiscated crate of beautiful leaves. It must be over there, where the guards are. Go forth! Fine. But I have something to ask of you after this. Yes, yes, of course. Okay, I struggled with this so badly because I had no idea what the hell I was doing because I... I didn't play anything until this. So this was the first thing that I did. On PC, which I don't play on, I didn't know the controls. <laughs> It was so bad. I didn't understand the concept of the I need your eyes, my friend. the barred windows and things. Um, so hell, we'll even see if I remember how I did this because I freaking lucked my way into this big time. If I have the time, slash if I still have the footage, 
I will try to include <laughs> the footage from my preview event just so I can uh, show you guys the difference between last time and this time. Be Kong's crate of tea leaves. And not that they are, but if my demo list is watching this, I hope you're proud of how far I've come. <laughs> Looks like this crate is still intact. Kong will be pleased. Literally so easy. Oh my god. Uh, it's fine. <sighs> my leaves! Praise be to you, little finch. Where <laughs> shall I put it? Come, come, put it here. I'm gonna knock him out with his tea leaves. Basim delivers once again. Many thanks, little Finch. Where are these from? India? No! This is all the way from China. Dali, my hometown, produces the best leaves. I also import leaves from India and even Persia. Moving up in the world, Kong. Kah first, then the world. I am now selling my goods at the Grand Auction. Have you heard of it? The Funny, Day you should Man. say that. Yes, I am trying to get in. Why? What kind of business are you doing, Little Finch? Why not share it with me? We work so well together. The kind of business that could get you into big trouble. Do you think you can help me get into the auction? Ah, that is my basm. Always with the secrets. But do not play around, huh? Kah is much more dangerous now than before. The auction is very exclusive. It is not easy to get in. I can help you, little Finch. But first, I have a request. See there? Blocked! The guards are stopping everything that comes in from the road and river. It is as if they are taking orders from someone higher up. These days, they do not even accept my bribes. They must be looking for something. An object, or... Some stupid nonsense I do not know. But they spoil my business. That I do know. Now, I just sell dumb leaf water. I hear that they keep the items in the Harbor Master's guarded warehouse. Somewhere east of here. Let me guess. You want me to help you free your wares in exchange for entry into the auction. The warehouse is decorated with banners around some cranes. My items for entry into the auction. Sound like a good deal? Sounds like a deal. Hey you! Kong's friend! I may have something you would be interested in. Come closer. What can I do for you? Hmm. This is about what I can do for you. Did Kong ask you to enter a warehouse? Just say what you have to say. <laughs> that Kong is always trying his luck. Well, it's his lucky day because I happen to know where it is. All I need is something in return. Tell me what you know. Follow the road, cross the bridge on the right. You'll see the warehouse on your left, past the river. That narrows it down. Thank you. Warehouse Kong mentioned. Die! Got that coward! 
Oops. Shit. <gasps> well, that didn't go well. The warehouse Kong mentioned. I need to find out more about this harbor master. I didn't realize he was looking at me. All right, right out. <laughs> find the dog. Ori. We will find you. Come out. End it with honor. Not here. I'll do that. Oh, I didn't get anybody with that. Wait, what? Hey, no, it was a nice distraction, though. Wait, what? information. So I'm looking for papers here. Hold on. Door's locked. Where are we dragging him to? <laughs> to all, blockade is to be erected at the harbor. Seize any foreign exotic artifacts and keep eyes for a Chinese hairpin. There can be no room for error. I know where all of you live. I know your families. Do as you are told, no questions asked. Instructions to search any and all foreign goods. For an artifact. An ancient Chinese hairpin specifically. This all starts at the harbor. All right, there's a chest there. Might as well go get that. And looks like there's a piece of paper here too. The Da Irat Al Mal, ceramics, exotic wares, and rare goods, all on display. Ever dreamt of owning the world? Well, now you can have a taste of what it might be like. The Dairat Al Mal is here once again. Prepare to be awed, dazzled, and amazed by the selection we have for you. Rare porcelain, precious stones from around the world, we have it all. Join us and revel in the splendor. Okay, there's one over there. You don't see me. What? Okay, wait. Wait! I thought they already freaking. Oh my god. Ha! 
This is this is going worse than the last time I played it. Basically, I'm just gonna kill everybody in here. <laughs> Call it a day. Enough! Not wasting any more time. Al Kululu, I loathe mistakes. I only had one request, and somehow you managed to deny me what I seek. You know how much I wanted the hairpin. Did I not make it clear when we last spoke? We might need to have another meeting for you to understand. For now, it seems I must take things into my own hands at the auction. A strongly worded letter to the harbor master. He let a hairpin slip through their fingers, and someone is not happy. There is a scent on this letter, and a familiar symbol. El Kululu. Looks like the harbor master is part of the order. Okay, but I still need another Did you hear that Javid is in trouble? <laughs> Maybe I can be the next harbor. Rather you than me. <laughs> Whose head do you think will go next? <laughs> Here? Marha! Have these TVs from the east are worth more? These goods are not to be released until the thorough checks have been made. Silks from Santo Smooth Silks, three headed dog statue from Kanako Porcelain, White Peach Oolong from Kong's Tea Parade. These goods can be released once this note is shown to the respective guard. A list of exotic foreign goods seized, most from out of Baghdad. There are Kong's things. Vases and some expensive tea leaves. This should be what Kong needs. The harbor master has set up this blockade for foreign wares. Especially for ancient artifacts from the east. There is nothing more here. The harbor master is waiting. Maker a trap. So I haven't used that yet. Let's just see what this does. Then. Come check that out, will ya? Die now! What? <laughs> Why? Be patient. Come here. No, 
about you? I want the big guy. I have heard it all Okay, so my stealth, not so great today. Not so great. But, you know, it's fine. We're just trying new techniques, is all. Nice. All right. That's not going to work, I don't think. That's too far away as well. Okay, just don't turn around, Shall whatever you do. He let the artifact through, and he is not happy. Now Enkidu has a clear path. Doesn't really matter at that point at this point, Basil. Sorry. Allah. One artifact and no one can find it? Dumb dogs. My neck might spill, but not before theirs. to do that. Come. I have Say uh who goes there? I have a weapon. <laughs> Just me. Ah the little finch returns to the nest. Empty handed <laughs> It is here. This can help you get your wares out from the harbor. Huh I never doubted you for a second. Come, let us enjoy a cup for the memories. I will even make your favorite. What did you find there? Who was behind it? A man by the name of Javid. He was working for someone, looking for an artifact. An exotic hairpin. It is important somehow. I need to find out why. I must. You have changed, little Finch. Or should I just say, Finch, when we last met, you were a street thief. Now, I hope you know what you are searching for. Sometimes, it is best to leave the thorn in, lest you bleed dry. Now, for what was promised to me? An invitation to the auction. It is only given to esteemed guests. Do not ask me where I got it from, unless you want lies. <laughs> With that scroll, you can get in without having to fit yourself in one of my boxes. <laughs> that was your plan. Men have endured worse to reach their goals. Someone influential is looking for the hairpin, but let it slip. Now the only chance they have is at the Grand Auction. Hmm. Now to look into the other lead. Wait! <gasps> no coin, no safety. You know this. Or we can just take your perfume as payment. Assalamu alaikum. This is not your concern. Move along. Maybe this can free your time. Hmm. Perhaps it can. We have worked hard, man. Time for a rest. What? Wait. We are still... Thank you, Saeed. What did you do to incur such aggression from the guards? I did nothing. I... I'm only short of coin. Business is business, but I do not have the means to pay their tax. Are your wares moving slow? No, but in recent times, they have increased the coin requested. Therein lies the trouble. Not just for you, but for others as well. Mostly for people like us who are not from here, or not of the same faith. We find it's hard to feel safe in Kah. 
I have a shipment that's late. I fear my goods and camels might have been seized by the guards. They should have arrived with some merchants bound for the Dairat Amal. If I could ask a favor, my friend, please look for them. Very well. They should be along the road that leads to the south gate of Baghdad. Ah, I might catch them at the watering hole along the southern road. Thank you, Saidi. The road beyond the south of Baghdad. I should see if I can find those stranded merchants. Okay, so I definitely didn't have to do this last time, so I'm wondering if they kind of like pared things down. Um, Who goes? I come I'm in peace. Missing something that I didn't miss last time. What? Excuse me. Assalamu alaikum. I was sent by a friend of yours who was worried for your safety. As you can tell from the horse's head, she was right to be. We do not know what to make of this. Let me help. Perhaps I can find out what happened. We would be grateful. The culprit must have left what? a clue. Footprints. And a blood trail. <gasps> what is going on? Was to the center of the camp. Okay, I definitely didn't do this, but why am I getting attacked by freaking like antelope ibexy things? My horse, my sweet legume. Who would do such a terrible deed? Do not cast Master your eyes on me. Sharp I did no such evil. Yeah, so this is not part of the same. I wonder if it will tie back in. I'm very confused. Was this your horse? He is claimed by Hades now. Not only do I have to worry about Baghdad's ridiculous thirst for coin, now I must be concerned about my livestock! Malaka! <sighs> Rest in peace, Legum. Legum. Tension guards, coin collection from Anka's perfumery, ways exotic meats, bubble pop, soap. Note, must I do your jobs for you? Stop their supplies if you must, but do what you need to do to secure coin. Do not forget the extra taxes for the Demiun. If they want to bask in the richness of Baghdad, they must pay the right price. Do whatever you must. What happened here? It happened in the dark of night. I could not see well, but I saw someone, I think. I cannot be sure. I think I know what happened. This is a work of intimidation. Someone is trying to prevent your arrival. La, uh, who? Who would do such a thing? I have no enemies, no bad blood. There could be worse fates if you continue down the road. Let me escort your crew to the gates. You would do that for us? Shukran, God bless you. Quickly, get us away from here. Let us move. The city is not too far. Come, we should leave this place, quickly. Should have stayed home. <laughs> Where is home? I come from a place called Greece. West from here, across the water. With my horse Legum, we carry goods to and from Baghdad. All oh, the cities we visited. al Basra, and even Samara. Stay close! Your merchant friend tells me that these goods are bound for the Da'irat al-Mal. Nay, the great auction is a big event, and that meant bigger demands. So you are attending then? Attending? <laughs> I only wish I had the coin to spend. No, we are just providing stock for the preparations. Nah, it seems like a trap. 
Yep. Who sent you? Right, I have this. <laughs> I love those sleep darts. The merchants must be found. One knows where I am, and for my safety, he must be silenced. Kill the rest, too. They are of no consequence. From what I gathered, they should be en route to the west of Baghdad. Find them before they arrive and report back. A prize of coin awaits the ones who succeed and return. The guards report to... Oops, shit. The guards report to someone called al Hanka. This confirms my suspicions. Good heavens! Could they have been sent to kill us? Likely. This is not surprising. We've been vocal against the Khilaf and unfair taxes. It can cost us our heads. But the silent sheep is an ally to corruption. They do not like this opposition. I would not be surprised if they made an example out of us to others who might try the same. Those camels go. Baghdad, you are safer now. You are wonderful. Is Thank that really you. necessary? Here we are. A thousand thanks, Ya Sayyidi. Baghdad is not safe. Rumors swirl through the markets of merchants dragged from their stalls. Have you heard of such injustice? Who would do this? Rumors say they target the Dimiyun, traders who are not from here. The Abbasids want a stake in all businesses. As long as there is coin, lives are secondary. The note dropped by the guards was from someone called al Anka. This person is the one behind the attack. Oh, hmm. I overheard the guards refer to the tax collector as al Anka, which was odd. Because is the Anka not female? Tell me his name and where I can find him. Sohail lives in a mansion west of Karkh. Be careful, friend. I doubt he works alone. Thank you, friend. Wafakakallah. Yeah, I definitely didn't do this. You die now! See, when they're red like that, I can't see when it's a parryable versus a need to dodge attack. So that kind of stinks. There we go. Approved blockade funding. The agreed upon amount was taken from the tax fund for Kark and allocated to the supplement. Allocated to supplement the harbor's blockade as instructed. The blockade at the harbor is funded by the coin of the people. There might be more oh, information I can find around here. Okay. Suhail, here are the proposed tax increases. Please act accordingly. Grains, one twentieth. Foodstuffs, one tenth. Textiles, one tenth. Ceramics, one fifth. And according to the laws, the Dimi shall pay extra, so charge each non believer another tenth on top of the given tax. Orders to increase taxes. More coin trickling into their hands. Looks like there's another one up here. The taxes have been paid. Al Anka, coin is becoming scarce. Have you increased the taxes like I asked? I hear that you might be experiencing a few obstacles. The shipment of perfume is also late. I thought perhaps since you are local, you might fare better than I would, but I have been wrong before. The tax collector does not work alone. Someone not from Baghdad controls the strings. There is a scent on the letter. Perfume. Rose with... Iron. Hmm. I am done here. Nothing else. Roshan and Rebecca will be waiting back at the bureau. They're annoyed at something. Our protocol hidden one returns. Finally. You found the path back. What do you have for us? The one we are looking for is a Dimiyun. 
someone out of Baghdad. You are certain? I found proof. They were working with the tax collector and the harbor master. One used the guards to harass and extort coin from the Demiun. The other seized goods at the docks. Extortion, I understand. But seizing goods? More objects from these ancient beings they worship? They are looking for a rare hairpin imported from the East Road. It will be up for auction at the Da'irat al-Mal. An official invitation into the auction. Now, we have a way in. Well done. Our target has to be someone connected to both Al-Anga and Al-Kululu. Someone working closely with the officials. Informers heard whispers of the Khalifa's treasurer. In recent times, they have been quite involved in the businesses of Kah. Someone like that will no doubt make an appearance at the Da'irat al-Mal. We should prepare, so I will scout ahead. Meet me near the souk when you're ready. Not a lot is known about this person. Underestimating your opponent is a fool's folly. Worried? I will tread carefully. The plan is simple. Enter the auction as a merchant wishing to bid on exotic artifacts. We know they want the hairpin. And we know they will be at the auction. They already let it slip through their fingers once. When the hairpin appears, I will watch the crowd and make sure to obtain it. That will secure a meeting with this treasurer. I am fully confident they will bid on it. Whatever the cost. Yes. I will gather as much information as I can about this treasurer before the auction starts. For someone in their position, there will be no lack of whispers. The first feather without a head. It is your duty to find the right one. Do not let yourself get distracted. Focus on the mission at hand. It does no one good to linger on things that do not exist. This is real. I understand. Silence is better for the wise, and how much more so for fools. Haban Mubataban. Do you think we need luck? There is a rot in Karch, treasurer. Property stolen, merchants extorted, foreigners tormented. Corruption is rank and everywhere. But you are at its heart. Even now, your poison spreads along the East Road to lands untouched by the Order's venom. I hear you hunger for a hairpin, one up for auction at the Da'irat al-Mal. I will play the rival for your heart's desire and draw you from the shadows. All right, assassinate the treasurer. Sitting at the top of Kark's web of power is the treasurer. In controlling taxes and extorting the merchants of Kark, the treasurer is successfully funding the order at the expense of the people's livelihood. Coveting a rare hairpin from the east, the treasurer seizes the imports of any foreign artifacts at the harbor, causing great distress to various businesses. Having hidden themselves successfully in the shadows, the treasurer's identity is known to few. It is time to draw back the veil. Look for intel to expose the treasurer's identity. Should have known you would be here, okay. Kong. <laughs> You know me. Come, let us chat. I, I definitely do remember... have something to ask of you. I definitely remember this part again. Do you have any information about the treasurer? Someone who works for the Khilafa? The treasurer? Hmm. I do have something, but... You know, it hurts to give precious information for free. What job do you need doing now? <laughs> Already know what is on my mind, eh? You see, little Finch. The Da'irat al-Mal is not only an important event for the upper class of Kakh, but also for thieves. 
Did someone take something of yours again? A precious ceramic saucer. Luca has it. He has always been jealous of me. Ah, where do you think it is? I knew I could rely on you, little Finch. You should be able to find it in the crates near his stall. Be right back. Ahlan, Ahlan, come upstairs and look at my words, ya sadiqi. Things you've never seen before in Baghdad. Exotic Chinese artifacts. Here only. Nowhere else. Don't be shy. Come closer and be amazed at my selection upstairs. All right. Don't mind if I do. Assalamu alaikum. You mentioned Chinese artifacts. Yes, friend. Welcome, welcome. You will surely find something of interest here. Longing for the exquisite, ya sadiqi? I have ornaments that hail from the Far East on auction. Rare vases, delicate teacups. But the hairpin is my prize. One of a kind, a beauty even the treasurer asked about. Wait, the hairpin? Where is it? It's going to be up for auction. If you wish to purchase it, make sure to bring a good bag of coin. A hairpin from the East? This must be the item El Kululu was after for the treasurer. I must look out for it at the auction. Tardin is not something the treasurer appreciates. Mm. Not something we can rush, yes, say that. The treasurer will not be happy. Neither will I. I know that. The perfume creation is complex. We are already doing our best. Your best is not enough. Come. We talk elsewhere. There are ears in the walls. That woman mentioned the treasurer. I should keep my ears close. The treasurer is fond of the kina, as you know. No one is more unhappy than three of the bottles go missing. Certain incidents there have also made our situation difficult. Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? You are not telling me exactly what it is we are missing. The uh, blood, my lady. The blood is essential in the scent. It is what makes the Kina perfume special. We must have it. I will talk to the Khalifa. See what we can do. The treasurer will have to wait for her supply. This perfume? On the tax collector's letters? I thought it smelt like iron. Was it blood? This woman could be from the Khalifa's inner circle. She knows the treasurer. I must speak to her. Assalamu alaikum, ya Sayyidati. Wa alaikum assalam. I could not help but overhear, Sayyidati, about the perfume. It is not courteous to eavesdrop. Seeing as you are an admirer, you are pardoned. My name is Kabiha, the woman behind the kina. It has a unique scent. Rose, honey, sandalwood. And if you heard, a sliver of blood. Blood? I should have guessed. I had thought it might be iron. Blood is born from iron, is it not? But, because of that detail, it proves difficult to bring in large quantities. If it is so exclusive, it must be popular amongst officials. I think I caught a scent of it near the treasurer. Ning uses the kina. She is quite taken with its rich mystique, as are many. That was smooth. Curious. You do not look like one who is interested in the art of perfumery. It is unwise to judge someone by how they look. Indeed. Did I not catch your name? Basim. Basim. I must not waste any more of your time. I wish you a wonderful time at the Da'irat al-Mal, ya Sayyidati. 
I don't know, maybe we should have like a fake name that we give it out to people. <laughs> Cause now when we kill the treasurer. So, the treasurer is a she. And her name is Ning. It just seems like a bad idea to have someone that we were talking about the treasurer with have our real name. Especially when we're about to murder the treasurer. Okay. This must be the Star Kong mentioned. Now to find that plate. that even happen? Why? Why is this not working? Thank you, shit. Ooh, don't get caught on fire. Okay, now I need this. Trust Kong to own a plate like this. Now maybe he will tell me what he knows about the treasurer. Hmm. Suspicious activity on the rooftops. Here. Little Finch delivers once again. Just the very thing I need to complete my set. I thought this was yours. It is now. Anyway, listen close. I was having my usual afternoon tea when I overheard two ladies speaking about an order they fulfilled for the Dayadat al Mal, They made a beautiful robe for the treasure with intricate Eastern embroidery. Open your eyes to that! Eastern wear. Thank you, Kong. The treasurer is likely a foreigner from the East. The auction should be starting soon. Marhaban! Assalamu alaikum! Yasas! Ni hao! Hello! It is the time of year again to fulfill your deepest yearning, to listen to your heart's desire, and purchase what God has shown us. It brings me great joy to welcome all of you esteemed individuals to our annual Dairat al Mal. First on our exclusive, captivating list of exotic odds and ends, we have a stunning statue from India. I made want that. of ivory and crafted by that. the finest artisans. It will be a perfect addition to any home. It looks like it's made out of marble. Oh, mm. what do we have? One bidder already. No, two. Calling once, twice, a third. Would anyone like to best that price? No? So, there's no price given. To the lovely lady. Next, we have a one of a kind ethereal beauty. This hairpin hails from the east. And look at the detail on the dragon. Perfect as a collectible, and even better as a gift for a certain. Those robes are really you pretty. Might have. Look at that. So, so, what is this piece worth to you, Ya Azdekhai? W one for the treasurer who graced us with her presence. Ning, the treasurer. Two. Any others? Me, me, me. Raise hand. We have a hmm. third there. Who? Oh, who owns it again? Number three. What will you do? 
How much do you want this, my friends? Reach into your heart. Listen to your desire. Hmm. No one? Everyone's so impressed. Then sold to the handsome bearded man. This hairpin belongs to you now, Sayyidi. Now, for the third item. I'll be interested to see how this goes because last time I did not win the auction because I didn't pickpock really anybody. I didn't have any money. Once again for making the Dairatul Mal a success. So this May is going to be different be than what I did. And your heart ever longing. Okay. I have an appointment with the treasurer. Move aside. Apologies. My instructions were clear. No brooch, no entry. Do you know who I am? I need to speak to the treasurer. I was called. Summoned. Assalamu alaikum. I'm here to see the treasurer. On what business? I have a gift for the treasurer. If she will see me. Only members of the ivory coin are allowed to enter. No brooch, no entry. Okay, well that's the same. Um, okay, so now I need to find... No brooch, no entry. You know how this works. Yes, but I left my brooch in there. Do you not see the problem here? No brooch, no entry. Exclusive union for the merchants of high society. I should have expected this to exist. Why would why would you do that? <laughs> I do not care what you have to do. Burn them or murder their dogs if you have to. Understood, Sayyidi. We will retrieve your coin from the merchant stall on the morrow at all cost. Why not today? Yeah. You lot are getting more incompetent by the day. Useless. This must be the ivory coin's brooch. Shiny. I have both trinkets. Shiny. The guard will have to let me in now. Okay, so I think when I didn't win, I had to steal this. But then I also had to steal the hairpin. I think is what the dealio was there. Assalamu alaikum. You again. What is it now? I have something that she wants. A Chinese hairpin from the auction. I also have my brooch with me here. Very well. You may enter. Um, so I really, I didn't finish this uh, in my hands-on preview. I ran out of time. Here. <laughs> uh, and I have been looking forward to meeting the treasurer. It is an honor. Indeed, Sayyidi. She is busy, and her time only allows for a few rare appearances. Oh, I no. have never seen so many treasures in one place. I'm sorry, I made it into here. Um, then I ran into that room because I saw her in there, not realizing I wasn't supposed to go in there, and I got wrecked. Then I ran out of time. <laughs> Standards are too high. I thought that I, I could, uh... Be careful not to get bitten in there. Please refrain from speaking <gasps> about the treasure inappropriately. You may enter. Okay, so this will be new for me. What's going on with that guy's armor? He got a booty! <laughs> you are a new face. My name is Basim. 
new to Baghdad, but not to trade. I deal mostly in fine antiques and collectibles. You must have a good eye for detail, then. What have you brought me, Basim? You know what I brought. A man not to be toyed with. Come, <sighs> show it to me. I love the cockiness. it? Ever seen something like this? So perfect. So delicate. No. But I am surprised that you have not. I do have a pension for them. When I was but a child, my sisters and I would tie our hair with sticks, adorn them with stone. I pretended they were the rarest gems. We had nothing, but we felt that we had it all. There are many reasons why people see me. For advice, a taste of power, and most often, to win favor. Why have you come, Basim? As a fellow collector, I have heard much about you from others. Your extravagance, your taste. I wish to learn- Did they say I was lucky? I loathe the word. When I first arrived in Baghdad, I was one of many seeking my fortune. Now, I have even the East wrapped around my fingers. I clawed my way here where many gave up, preferring to spare their nails. But me? I don't mind a few scratches, a bit of blood. Surely there have been connections. The people you met that helped you get to where you are. No matter what others say, you only have yourself. No one else. What are we waiting for? <laughs> Did you think she was gonna kill us with a hairpin? What? <laughs> oh. Everything prospers when family is harmonious. Family? The word has no meaning. The notions, even more so. Only the self hears the deepest whispers of your soul and accepts you whole. No one lives alone. But we die lonely. In the end, we are absolutely, simply, truly, Alone. That was weird. Turn to the bureau. Oh. Shit. Okay, that's funny because this is where I died. Wait, open. Why can't I open that door?
eyes out. What? <laughs> Good night. I don't. Since when do I have? Basim, how did you fare? The streets are alive with talk about the auction. Rumors spread quickly. It was this woman, Ning. A woman holding the reins. She must have angered many. Angered and enthralled, in equal parts. It is no wonder she kept her identity hushed. Now the upper echelons of affluent louts are soiling their silk robes, wondering if they are next. The order will not stop here. If they have reached the east, then there is no telling how far they will spread. Did you see it? The Jenny? Mm-hmm. It, uh, it is gone now. It is gone. Rest while you can. Our work is not done yet. She looks a little worried about us. Seems promising. I wonder where this leads. Gross. <laughs> Not even faced. What magic is this? Surely there is a way to diminish it. Oh. Excellent. The shards work. Perhaps okay, now what I can get? use some more. Outfit. Successful air assassination set off a flash of lightning to disorient bystanders. Bystanders. That's cool. I don't think I need that, but. Oh, I'm so close. So, I don't have enough. Shit. Oh, I'm so close to being able to do all of them right away. That would have been awesome. Every fifth hit heals Basim for 10% of his health. This dagger of slow time, though, is just so freaking good. Alright guys, I'm going to stop there. Um, I'm glad that my experience with this section for the treasure was different um, so that you got some like first time reactions um, because that was definitely the chunk that I played um, with the hands on press event. 
But like I said, I don't think I'm going to have to rewatch the footage because it's possible I'm just uh, forgetting. But I don't think I did that whole section with like the decapitated horse head and the merchants. I think I just did the one where I had to bribe the guards from the merchant. And then I think from there we just knew we were going after the treasurer because then I had to follow the woman for the perfume and I had to bid on the hairpin. I had to do all that stuff. So that part was familiar to me. But then lightweight gaming moment of lightweight gaming moments. Obviously, I, I failed the first time, but that was the end of my time. So I couldn't try again. So that whole actual assassination part was brand new and it was really freaking cool. I have no idea why it was like the mirror image. But it was really freaking cool, and I still want to know what the heck is going on with the genie. So hopefully, we get answers there. I feel like you have to get answers there. They're not going to introduce it without giving you answers, but you know, weirder things have happened. Um, so yeah, this was really cool. I had a lot of fun with this, and I'm glad I was able to experience some new things with you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do, so that you know when I post future videos. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope you have an amazing day.